What time is it? What? Yeah, you're right. It's time for a mukbang. Anyway, it's December 2nd, and uh, yeah, I've been kind of MIA for a little while. Ooh, I'm a mess. Mm. Still fat. Still just me. You know, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, so I did pretty good on my diet. Or I should say my new lifestyle. Because I got down to 259. I don't know what I've been weighing the last few days because I'm sure I'm having a water rush, binge, whatever, water weight. Because I've been eating Thanksgiving food, cake, pie. I know. Yuck. But today, I'm going to be good. This is what I got for my lunch. I got turkey, ham, and some egg salad. Egg salad isn't anything fancy to write home about. I don't know what to put in. See, I got my pillow here. But today, my pillow isn't cooperating. Because usually, I put my pillow right there. Then I can eat. Oh, the struggles of being a mukbanger. Anyway, this is turkey left over from Thanksgiving, and I don't have a tripod because my tripod had broke last year, so all I have is my, my fat little hand holding my little goofy LG cell phone, and I don't want that skin on that turkey. It's kind of dried out. Good thing I put salt on it. I don't know. This Thanksgiving wasn't, ta-da, like all the other Thanksgivings. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't like, oh my God, I can't wait till next year to eat some of this food, this menu again. This year, I was like, mm. oh, and see this? This is egg salad. You know why it's egg salad? Because... I was going to make a beautiful tray of deviled eggs. I had an 18 pack of eggs plus 12, a dozen, and I was going to, because everybody loves the deviled eggs, and the fuckers wouldn't peel. Right. They would not peel. And they're so ugly, so broke up. So, now they're egg salad. And this is ham from Thanksgiving, too. I bought one of those um, spiral sliced hams that come in the um, gold, either gold packaging, purple packaging, or, or like an orange packaging. And I did it the way it says to do it on the package. Okay. I heat it up. So many minutes, hours, whatever. And it it's, I don't know, it's just plain. Because usually when I do, I do my own recipe for the ham. But this year, I don't know what happened to me and my brain. I couldn't figure out how to coordinate cooking the ham and the turkey and the sides in my one oven. Usually I don't have a problem. This year it's like, oh, that's my hand making the shell. I'll stop. Usually I got it all together, but this year, I don't know. So I followed the package directions on this ham, which I normally never do. Usually what I do is I cook the ham in pineapple juice and a little bit of orange juice, brown sugar, honey, you know, make it really, really nice and stuff. This time I just baked it and used a little package of the glaze that was on it in the package. That's all I did. This ham has no pizzazz. I don't know, it's just ham. Mm. I have a lot of it left. What I did is I cut cut it off the um, bone 
and I cooked half of it for, you know, Thanksgiving. The other half, like the ham bone and more slices, are in my freezer so that I could make some beans and ham with the other part and with the nice slices, maybe ham dinner. Maybe I'll have them on Christmas. I don't know. Egg salad tastes good. I didn't do it like normal egg salad. I put all the ingredients. There's a piece of crystal. Give it to Tippy. Tippy, here. Here. I don't like crystal. I don't know how some people I watch the mukbangs. I'm going to have a chicken leg and I'll I'm going to end with that little piece of gristle. Oh, Not me, baby. Mm -mm. So, how was y'all Thanksgiving? Well, I've seen some of you got to go on vacation for Thanksgiving, according to some of you guys' YouTube stuff. So, you know. I didn't make any homemade desserts this time. I was lazy and I bought a Dutch apple pie and bought a um, pumpkin pie, a pecan pie, and a carrot cake. I got them all from Walmart. The pies were hella cheap, though. They were only $4 a pie compared to Winco. Winco has big pies like I usually buy and they're like seven dollars so because it was so cheap I thought score but you get what you pay for I don't like Walmart pies okay the pecan pie was really yummy and so was the cake but no not the others stick to you want a good pie stick to Winco if you have a Winco Mm -mm. Thanks to the people who are new new subscribers. I appreciate it. I am not monetized. I don't know if YouTube will even ever monetize my stuff. I just get out here because I like to interact with people. I know it's like it's good to interact with people because my life is like hectic but boring. The reason why I say that, I don't have friends. I got kids and grandkids and dogs. That's what I got. So you YouTube community people, my viewers, subscribers, I'm the creators. I try to interact as much as I can with everybody. I watch a zillion channels. And you know... I don't really watch TV. You know why I don't watch TV? Because it's kid business all day long. But that's okay. A good dose of Sesame Street and um, Luna. Let's see, what else do we watch? Ding Tiger. That's all good. Paw Patrol, SpongeBob. That's usually what's on the TV. Except for on Sundays and Mondays, get the hell out of the way, because I'm watching 90 Day Fiance, I watch 90 Day Fiance the other way, like, you know, when they go to another country, I watch it, the 90 Day Fiance for when they come here, and they have the 90 days, oh my god, mm. I always try to guess how it's going to turn out. Uh, last night, um, Sir G, I don't know, is that his name, Sir G? He, he's from Africa. He's a white guy, and he has, like, sounds like he's got a British accent, and his girl's kind of, like, tan. But she's an American. He brought her over, she brought him over here to go live in a shed in her mama's backyard. Really? And he's like, this is not what I wanted to do. Wow. 
I just wonder how this is going to turn out. And then another couple, couple, Marcel, I guess he's from Turkey, I think. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, because I always have these kids running around, dogs running around. And I'm like, I have to watch a TV show maybe like two or three times before I'm like, oh yeah, that's what's going on. But anyway, choo choo choo, it's like shoe leather. Anyway, Marcel, it's like Rain Man. I'm in Facebook groups for 90 Day Fiance, and they're all calling him Rain Man because he don't understand nothing. The language barrier. It's really bad. Plus, I think that, honestly, this is my opinion. Probably not true, but my opinion is, he don't even know what the hell's going on. Just some pretty blonde-headed lady went over to his country. Oh, yeah, I'd, you know, chuck a chuck a ding ding you know, bing, bing, bang, boom, boom. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You want to come to America? He's like... I don't even think he understands, to tell you the truth. I don't know. And she's got kids. She's got boys. And he wants to hide the fact that she has children because his parents and his culture would not approve of him marrying a lady that has kids or a pre-married pre lady. You know, somebody that's been married before. I don't say things right. SpongeBob SquarePants. I hope I don't get a copyright infringement. Blah, 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 blah. I hope I don't get a copyright infringement, so I'm trying to block it out. Anyway, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know what's on tonight. Some kind of 90 days something or other, I think. Hmm. Or it's Platteville. It's where this blonde-headed family has these kids. Hmm. I don't remember where they live, but... The kids supposedly never had Coca-Cola. They don't watch TV. They don't even know who Justin Bieber is. But. There's always a butt there. Everybody has a butt. The girls wear a bunch of makeup. Shorty shorts. And if they're so religious or whatever the hell they're supposed to be. Or if they're not. You know, in the secular world. They're more in a Christian world. Why are they allowing their children to dress like that? I think this is just a made-up story by TLC to try to get people to watch it. Well, I'm almost suckered in. I think I'm going to watch it when it comes on again, if it comes on tonight or whenever this week. And then I probably won't watch it no more because I don't think it's real. And to me, the storyline isn't all that interesting, especially if it's fake. I think the Duggars that multiply like rabbits, I think they're more real than this story. So, you know, them Duggars got to go, too. I don't know, I'm getting sick of them, too. TLC put some good shows on. These are boring. The Amish story got really stupid and boring. I don't know. Honey Boo Boo was fun. They need more Toddlers and Tiaras. That was a fun show. The Little Kids. That was like a little reality. Dance Moms. That was cool. I don't know. And then they got unpolished. These beauticians from Long Island doing all their thing. It's like, that's fucking boring, too. I don't know. Somebody needs to make a better reality show. Anyway, I'm running out of time on my thing. 
and I don't want to start having Chinese lips on my video, so I'm going to let you guys go. Oh, by the way, the, the beverage today is Diet Mountain Dew. Sponsor me, Pepsi. Anyway, and I'm still doing the, the keto, kind of carniv carnivore today. So, okay. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.